Live. Well, folks, this is the best show on Blog Talk and the best show on the internet. Shut up. Nobody, and I mean nobody, tackles issues like inflammatory talk. Shut up. And Mr. Midnight Movie. Shut up. And Jewish producer. Hello, son. Shut up. We tackle the things that nobody, nobody tackles. Hello, son. The man answers. Hello, son. Stop walking on eggshells. Shut up. Hello, son. Goofy Bone can get off his bloviated fat enchilada ass and start talking about La Raza. Hello, son. Oh, jacking it. Pink Daddy Joe Pete. Oh, j- jacking it. Pink Daddy Joe Pete. Whipping the skippy all day long. All day long. We're making a movie about white guilt. We're going to examine all these facts. Shut up. The civil rights movement today basically uh, protects criminals. Okay, stop interrupting me. We're making a movie about white guilt. Okay, stop interrupting me. Shut up. We're making a movie about white guilt. Done in a beautiful fashion. The documentary, at the same time, both prose and poetry. It's not the noble movement that it was. I'm above you on all these issues. I've been to the military. I have served in the capacity to protect your rights to bloviate. To protect your rights to bloviate. Who are you to tell me what my style is, you meth addict? I've been to the military. How do you know I'm a meth addict? I'm above you on all these issues. How do you know I'm a meth addict? You haven't served in the military. In fact, you wouldn't be fit for the military. I'm a racist, and I don't consider myself an especially evil person. What's this got to do with with the price of rice in China? Well, I'm just telling you, I'm a better man than you are. You're a narcissist. We've established that. Okay, stop interrupting me. You could not defend the very rights you enjoy. You are the ultimate invalid. 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 I put stock in you. I'm wondering why Mr. Solutions isn't on a Debbie Daily show. What's this got to do with the price of rice in China? Money. I'm into aviation. Money. Power. Money. Power. Man boobs. Shut up. I see why Sick to Tank uh, daddies kicked his ass and kicked him out of the house early on. Man boobs. Shut up. I'm going to talk over you as loud as I can. I've got my speaker full blast to blow you away. Shut up. Mr. Midnight. My name is Delano. I have killed Mr. What up, people? How you doing? You're listening to Inflammatory Talk. Yes. Got to turn that off. Uh, thank you for listening. Tonight is a Saturday night. And it's a uh, a great show. What's the title of our show? I'm here. This is, I'm JP. I'm here with Mr. Midnight Movie. I'm so excited. I can barely contain myself. Uh, what is this one called? Well, let me take a look here. I really like Hold you to one read One second while I look this puppy up. Let me see here. Oh, gosh. This is the third annual Women's March LA Virtue Hypocrisy. Virtue hypocrisy and uh, i'm gonna put this by the way jp can you just play a little bit so before we want to get a little bit of a bigger crowd can you just play because i was i was mentioning yeah we're gonna play this song sorry sorry Sizo ba tula Azo balega tula Sizo ba tula Azo balega tula Holy puno Uzo goshaya Uzo balega tula Holy puno Sizo goshaya 
Okay. There we go. I thought that was Killing the White Farmer, but that isn't there. And maybe it's not on YouTube anymore. Don't know about that. So I'm looking at the Women's March on YouTube. And uh, let's see. Scenes from the Women's March. And I was uh, I was out at the Women's March. Um, and I had a sign uh, that said, because um, they were saying, you know, a lot of times they'll preach, refugees are welcome here. That's one of the things they say. And I wanted to know if white South African refugees were welcome here. Just thought, just a thought. And uh, most people agreed. Except um oh uh and Liz has just texted me. She wants to know why I'm so angry. Because you're so and sensitive. I say, Listen to my show. Why are you so sensitive all the time? Well, I was angry at these women, and I probably you know what I shouldn't be. Maybe I'll, maybe what I'll do is I'll play some of the clip of you. Talking about that experience with that woman. Yes. And I, I wonder if... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, how come you haven't uploaded these things to YouTube yet? I'm just out of, I'm, I'm, and, and you don't have to or anything. Those were, but, streams, those were streams to Twitter that, I had, that we did live. Yeah. Uh, but I have clips on my phone, and I still have to upload those. So we'll get those on uh, YouTube later tonight. One. Yeah. yeah, we got a few responses from, I think... Most people, I don't think, really care, though, you know? That, that, video, that video with the, the, the last girl that uh, Mr. Midnight Movie spoke with was, that was a great discussion. She was discussion. very contentious, and she, did, very look, man, she didn't want to agree with anything, like any, uh, a lot of the points that I was making. She's, you know what, man? I think she's completely full of it. I mean, there's, it's, you know, and I, I almost wanted to, you know, draw parallels between, like, Barbecue Becky, you know, uh, and she's definitely considered a racist, but but uh, the white South African government who's singing about killing white farmers, hey, they're not racist. What's that all about? Just just curious. Okay, show us some consistency here. Anyway. Uh, yeah, well, check out some of those other videos. This is a uh, Jewish producer, and we got Mr. Midnight Movie here babbling on and on about the racism that exists. I don't know. A great crowd for joining, though. Anybody who thought that coming to the Women's March was a bad idea was a, was wrong. Yeah. Did you? Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't think it would be uh, get that good of a response. So, yeah, I mean, and, and you know what? I didn't articulate it as probably as well as I could, and there are people. I mean, Stefan Molyneux uh -huh. and um, uh, Amazing Atheist, not Amazing Atheist, is it? Atheist is unstoppable. Uh, he didn't dis uh, uh, dispute. not singing songs about. It's kind of choppy, folks. So basically, I was asking. Are those murders, are those acceptable? No murder is acceptable, but they're not being murdered because they're white. They're being murdered because everyone's being oh, murdered. Oh, there's no racism in dead ends. That's bullshit. That's BS. Yeah. But racism is not affecting white people. It's affecting oh, black really? people. So it's not affecting any white person. The, the, the government's not singing songs about murdering white farmers. you support that? Are you? Are you? Basically, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you to a degree stand in solidarity with the blacks that murder white farmers? 
I know it's Sandy Solidarity with anyone who murdered him. Okay. But I'm glad that you said Sandy Solidarity with white people who have systematically been black people in so, so, so they're getting, so those whites, those whites are getting what they deserve is what you're saying. No one deserves to be murdered. That's okay. not how crime works. But, but don't you think, and if what you say is true, don't you think the government, like, because we had hearings when apartheid was, 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 was there, was, was, when, when, when South Africa was Live action as Mr. Midnight Movie has engaged uh, in a uh, heated dis- uh, dispute. Yes, I am. And by the way, I want to mention... You know, the hearings we had when Africa was under apartheid, when black people didn't have the right to vote, we're completely they're right talking about, it. They're talking about... The, the hearings in the United States that said, no, they should still be racist. So I'm not sure the hearings in the United States... They're, they're talking about that. murdering white white people. They're talking about slitting the throat of whiteness. You stand, you agree with that? Those are radical... How are you South Africans, or do you have any friends who live in South Africa? Well, you, One so, of my so best have, friends lives in Durban. She has told me about this issue, and frankly, I think you're getting bad information from YouTube. You, 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 you know what? Out. So there, there was the, the key line there, is that your information was no good. Yeah, and there are songs, by the way, uh, there are songs about killing white farmers. They're, they're sing- the government. There are people in the government that are singing songs and having rallies about white farmers. Yeah, that is, uh, I don't know what language, but, but th- those are South Africans, and they're singing songs about murdering, and this is not, these people are not on the fringe, by the way. These are, uh, these are, you know, these are very popular movements. And South Africa is a racial vendetta nation, bottom line. And you know what? If it's not true, uh, prove me wrong. Let's have, let's have those Senate hearings. Let's uh, have those, go- you know, let's have government oversight because we give money to South Africa. We give, uh, you know, uh, we give aid to South Africa. Companies are there. Uh, and if all of this is true and, 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 and whites are being treated unjustly, shouldn't we divest like we did during apartheid? Shouldn't we do that? That's just my opinion on that. And those women, they, those women really made me angry. And I was very upset uh, with the nonsense. And, and most of them would say, yeah, all, you know, most of them say all refugees are welcome here. But these women, and, and by the way, they were white and they were Jewish. These women were Zionist, by the way. Which, by the way, I'm a Zionist as well. But uh, these women, uh, I thought that they were big hypocrites. And, um, you know, because if they were talking about slitting the throat of Jewishness, if they were talking about, um, uh, you know, singing songs about murdering Jewish farmers are murdering Jewish bankers, are uh, murdering Jewish filmmakers, they would have been up in arms if that would have been part of the Women's March. And, uh, you know, they'd have been singing songs about it and stuff like that. They'd have been saying, oh, no, we're against that. You know, it's just just a bunch. I mean, these women... uh, these women were brainwashed, by the way. Dirk says, and, uh, you're still young enough to go over there and help fight the blacks. <laughs> what about you, Joe? Will you, will you go with me? Will you go with me? No, I'm not even going to. Well, I'll go film you. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I was talking about uh, who said I'm still uh, young enough? Who said that? Oh, that must have been Seeker. Oh, that's Seeker. Joe. Seeker, will you go with me? Yeah, I would like, you know, I would go to film uh, Joe and you uh, go down there. Yeah. Yeah. Joe can teach me about his Canadian fighting techniques. Stabby says, white is not an ethnicity. Stop trying to make it so. I, I don't understand what he means by that. It's just, uh, I you know. I don't know what he's it's, talking about. It's, it's, it's semantics. Stabby, you're playing a semantical buff- buffoonery game here. But I was very angry. And uh, yes, yeah, seeker, come with me and help me uh, help me fight these murderers. Yes. 
Yes. We can uh, we can go together. Um, and uh, and help me uh, help me save these farms. Or better yet, you can ask Mr. Trudeau, uh, your prime minister, to allow to give white South Africans refugee status into your nation. Because I know you're for the I know you're for the refugees. How about giving some love to white South Africans? Uh, who are being persecuted? How about how about giving them some nice love, love? Huh? Yes. How about how about doing that? You know, because they are being persecuted, they're being mistreated, and I know deep down, uh, Mr. Seeker, that you are a sensitive and loving man, and I I, I think you so should do that. Sensitive and cuddly and lovable, maybe even yeah. fuckable. That's proven on his show. I think you should tell your buddy. Your Prime Minister buddy, Mr. Trudeau, that you want – oh, they do come here, but, but, but we need more. And we need to specifically say white South Africans need refugee status. I was friends with a South and, African. Uh, yes, in, they, need it, they need it here in America, here in Canada, and Europe, and Australia. Uh, I think that would be really great to uh, – to my, give them my good. Friend, my friend Julian, I went to, to Hebrew school with. Then I ended up going to the same high school as him. He, uh, when he left high school, his dad bought him a McDonald's, and he now owns three McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's all he's done. Yeah. Well, uh, Apocalypse says the Boers are mostly middle class. They won't have too much trouble leaving. And I want more. Uh, you know. Uh, as an American of European descent, yes, I would like to invite, or like to have all white South, uh, all South Africans Step of right European up, descent African. living right in up. South Africa, uh, come to America, and I would like to say, and come to the West as well, uh, to a degree. They're being persecuted, and um, it's you know when you're talking about murdering them, you're talking about. Uh, and, and they're being demonized. I think it's a good idea, or at least you know what I want to say. I want to look into it, and 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 I, and I could be wrong, but I think there should be a major discussion on what's going on in South is. Africa, and also how it correlates here to the civil rights industrial complex, and how uh, Americans of European descent will be treated uh, once um, we become a minority. Uh, in uh, in uh, this nation. So the first thing I would probably do, if I was uh, you know a true investigator, is look at the legitimacy of a video like the one that Jacob Zuma sings, "Kill the White Farmer South Africa" uh, video. You know, I would like to look and see like how legitimate is that is that real footage first of all if that footage is confirmed and it looks to be real oh yes um but again you know we're looking at something that's on the internet and uh, anything can happen no, this is, okay and he's, this is also he's, he's from talked January. about that extensively uh -huh. and if you asked him about that he would say that he uh he wants to slit the throat of whiteness uh he wants to take land without compensation that is awful. And he also wants to hold them there like they did, like like the, the Russians did to the East Germans by building a wall. So he wants them to suffer in South Africa and be a persecuted uh, minority. And I don't think that's right. I think it's very wrong. And, you know, and, and I'm being serious. I think, and I think those women are virtue hypocrites because uh, they would be up in arms if they were saying things like that about the Jews. And actually, to a degree, they will side. Those women would rather die than face the facts and the truth. And I also say, I, I draw correlations because these women were trying to say, oh, it's only a robbery. They're only, uh, uh, they're only crime victims. It's not out of hate. It's not out of racial hate. Uh, but of course, when we see things like Barbecue Becky or uh, 
the woman uh, who called the police on the girl selling water, or the Starbucks situation. It, that was all racism. But when whites are murdered by blacks, that's that's just that's just crime. I get it. Jeez, man. I mean, it's like when you murder someone, it's not hatred. Give me a break. You know, and 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 and, and, and to be honest with you, those girls. That's not the America that I want to live in. I, I, I don't want that for my country. I don't want that kind of hypocrisy for my country. And I don't want it for, for Europe. I don't want it for Canada. I don't want any of that nonsense. I see it's very vile. It's, uh, it's not a good thing. JP, do you have anything else to add? Um, because I wanted to make it a rather short show. Yeah, we had We're a good time today. I think the crowd was an uh, incredible crowd. Um, yes. So much to see. Um, and we definitely were turning our heads. Every, there was all kinds of... You oh, know, oh, oh, you know what? I also want to make a mention that we, we uh, met, I met... And did, did you get a picture with... Uh, oh, I you got a picture with, uh, with Jesse Lee Peterson, I by did. the way. I posted a, a picture. I have a, a video also I'm going to work on a little bit later and get that up of, I think, that, a video of you talking with uh, Jesse Lee Peter. I know you talked with him for a little bit. I think I got that on tape, uh, but we have a, a bunch of clips I want to post. Yeah. And, and and yeah, Jesse Lee Peterson, I think, was uh, uh, someone threw a racial epithet at him. And uh, I also we also met uh, what the what the heck's his name? Uh, he goes by the name of Hardcore uh, Hardcore American Patriot. We met him, and I've seen him out there before, and I've seen a few of his videos. Uh, great video. I mean, uh, great videos of him. Um, there is a guy, and I, I didn't meet him, but. Uh, he has uh, uh, great vid videos, too. We were also cussed out by a, uh, uh, I don't know if you call her a special needs woman, but she, she, was, was, uh, but she didn't needs. want to film her, by the way. I kept uh, trying to film her, and she'd block me. But she had a mouthful for Mr. Midnight Movie. What, what, she, she okay, and uh, you know what, and I'm trying for Ruthie, but I, I she, uh, I, no, I'm not going to use the words that she said, but she said, uh, F you. Uh, white America is finished, and we're going to breed you out of existence. Yes, mixed races and, are going to are coming after you. Yeah, uh, you. you're gonna you're gonna have uh, children from a black woman, and I'm like, I don't want children from any woman. Uh, I would like to have uh, I would like to have sex with as many women as I can. I'm just being honest here. Yes, uh, but uh, get a dog. Yes. But uh, so most. Whites, in fact, have left uh, South Africa since apartheid went away. The ones who are left probably are the dumber and the meaner ones. You know something, APOC? You know, we have a lot of stupid people who are refugees. We have uh, Sudanese refugees who are, by the way, were persecuted in their country. Uh, the black Sudanese were persecuted by the Arabs in their country. And um, uh, they've come here and they've come to Australia and they've created a crime wave. And a lot of them have acted like uh, complete ingrates uh, in the country of Australia. And they've also, I mean, there, there was uh, an incident in, um, in Chipotle where, uh, where uh, a Sudanese, uh, where a group of Sudanese were uh, doing a dine and dash. And it's really disgraceful when people allow you to come to their country and uh, you act the buffoon. You know, look, we're, you know, basically these countries that are letting you in uh, are, are, are saving you. And, you're, and, and not, you're, you're hurting not only are you hurting the Sudanese that, that, that live there, but you're hurting the Sudanese that want to come. Because people will look at your behavior and they'll say, we don't want any more. And, uh, you know, there was a whole incident. It was in uh, Minneapolis where uh, the Sudanese uh, group of Sudanese teenagers uh, tried to dine and dash in a situation. And they were really disgusting. And they should be absolutely ashamed. The, uh, those individuals who did what they did have no honor uh, who is so stupid? Anyway, 
that is all I think I have to say about that issue. We will continue on. Yes. For- it's like music to my ears. I'm here to burst all yes. the tweet the show and Facebook. It. Yes. Mr. Midnight Movie. They're no good, man. They're no good. Come back and listen to more inflammatory talk. Uh, Mr. Midnight Movie, were you done with your thoughts? I'm done. Yes. You put them in the go. Yes. Man. This is about America, baby. They're no good. Man. They're no good, man. They're no good. It's like music to my ears. Music to my ears. Man. Yes. Did you guys say you miss the high five ghost? Yes. No good, man. You're no good.